It's mid-October and we're down in southern New Mexico hunting with the Morris boys. Now this is the Morrises. Huh, I like the... I'm a Morris too! I've known Stacy Morris for a long time. He's hunted the World Championship quite a few times. Him and his dad, Dwayne, took second a few years ago and uh, you know, Stacy asked me a long time ago, are you gonna come hunt coyotes with me down here in southern New Mexico? And I told Stacy, give me some time, we'll get down there and hunt with you, and here we are. I've been hunting coyotes for a little over 39 years. My dad took me out when I was a little over four, I guess, four years old, four or five years old. Wherever dad went, I went. You know, it's like that tag along. So our, our relationship started back when I was, I was a young man. The terrain we're gonna be hunting is real flat, it's real flat, just kind of open desert. And a lot of people don't really relate a coyote to, to living in this country, but you know, a coyote, he's so versatile, he'll, he, he's not choosy where he gets his meal because uh, he'll make a living off the, off the mice and the rodents and, and everything in that area, what it has to offer. They got a ton of ground lined up for us. Uh, they know a ton of landowners down here and we're just gonna run and gun. Uh, we're gonna do it Morris style and we're gonna see how many coyotes we can put on film in four days. It's our first morning in New Mexico. Stacy's dad, Dwayne, just dropped us off. We're gonna go make a stand right here and see if we can call a coyote in first stand in New Mexico. Fur takers right here, let's do it. Let's go. We set up and, and I'll be honest, uh, they said they love this stand, and I'm looking, there is not any cover for hundreds of yards. And I'm thinking, oh my heck, how are we going to get this coyote? There's got to be a coyote out here. We started calling, and, and way off to the left, uh, about six, seven minutes in, uh, big old coyote started rolling off that hill just at a full run. Straight off the pond down, straight off the dam. You're gonna come the whole way. It's just it's coming harder. Here we go, boys. <coughs> oh, you're not gonna stop. This coyote comes right up to us and gets right behind this collar and I shoot and hit her low. She's running. And then she takes off running. It's a nice shoot and put it down. Down, right there. Nice shot, Al. Ran her dry. We are in the wide open. I mean, this is it. This is all you got. Sit next to it, call. That coyote came up 50 yards, flared. I tried to stop it, wouldn't stop. When they don't stop, just Put the U.S. optics on and pull the trigger. Another white tip. Look at the white tip on that. Look at that big male coyote. Well, we just talked to the rancher, didn't we? Yeah, he's he's been losing sheep, so this is he's going to be awful happy about this. He said he had him howling on both sides of his house, and here we come in here and take this beautiful male coyote. It doesn't get any finer than that. But we ain't done, are we? No, sir. Let's we go get another one, Stacy. All right. We set up in this, this open field, it was really open, and to the left there was a uh, real thick brush, and, and behind us there was thick brush. I had Stacy set up watching to our left, the big mesquite patch to our left, and uh, I looked kind of behind us, and here comes a coyote, as hard as he can come. Coyote, we got a coyote coming right here. And he shoots right through the fence, he's not 10 yards from me. I hit him low in the leg, just, just below the chest cavity. Oh, he's back up, he's back up. He's on the move. Nice shot, Stacy Morris. Booyah, brother! That's awesome, dude. Nice back, I hit him twice low. Nice job. Big dog. Look at these teeth. He's old too. Yeah, he's not real old. 
big old male coyote right there in New Mexico, southern New Mexico. Uh, we've seen border patrol trucks. That's how southern we are. <laughs> so glad you're on fur takers. We'll see you on the next one. Booyah. This time of year, mid-October, is what I call the dispersal period, when mom and dad kick the pups out. With the pup dispersal, there's the most coyotes there's gonna be all year long, and these pups are trying to make a living on their own. This time of year, I'm gonna stick to the prey distress sounds. I really like the new Devil Bunny. I really like Slow Jack. Those are the two new Jack sounds I'm really using. Of course, the Cottontail sounds, the Eastern Cottontail, Cagey Cottontail, they're relatively new Cottontail sounds. Love them. They should respond well to prey distress. Uh, we can still use some vocalizations to get them to come, but day in, day out, this time of year, uh, Al Morris is gonna stick to the feed bag, and that's uh, playing the rabbit, playing the bird, and then going to vocals if I need to. The next morning we decided we wanted to uh, try a little bit cooler country, and so we went north. It's our second morning. Dad's dropping us off, this is just, there's a meadow right back here that I've chased elk in. There's a water back in there. We got this whole valley in front of us. We're gonna go to this biggest pine tree, by, or a pinion tree about 100 yards was that up, and we're gonna call him across this flat right here. Stacy said, let's go to this tank. And we drove all the way around, got the tank right, got the wind right, set up. There was a bunch of antelope out in this flat. There was three or four antelope down there. Those antelope are cool. That one is a good buck, isn't he? Turned on lightning jack, low volume. And about four or five minutes into the stand, you'll, you'll see this uh, coyote come. Guy's right here in the bottom. There's a coyote right in the bottom. Coming right, Broadway. You got him? I'm on him. Slowing down right there. Let's shoot him. Right there. Nice double tap right there, Stacy Morris. All right, Stace, nice job, brother. I may not see him first, but I'm picking the right stand. <laughs> <laughs> Another nice coyote, Stace. Oh, that's a beautiful Look dog. Look at the hair. Oh, jeez. <laughs> nice, nice dog. That's a big coyote. This is a big old mature female. She's probably four, three, four, five years old. And uh, we got some beautiful fur. This fur here gets real pretty. Yeah. She's got a little curling happening on her saddle. And yeah. Good job. Nice double tap, brother. <laughs> fur takers here in New Mexico. We're glad you're along. We'll see you down the next stand. We went north this morning. Killed a coyote, but there just wasn't the numbers there we wanted to see. We're back down here in the heat. It's 84 degrees. We've got a good stand here. We're gonna walk here about 100 yards, set up next to some of these uh, they go yuccas. yuccas and see if we can call a coyote. Come on with us. Fur takers here in New Mexico. Out in this real open area, they don't have much to, to hide behind, but. There are yuccas and, and these deep little draws and, and stuff like that that are out in these uh, flats. And they'll get down in these shaded areas and bed up for the day. And, and uh, just from years past, I know that they're out there. We're calling, the wind's a little marginal to one direction. I'm sitting there with my binoculars, those new intensity binoculars from Cabela's. I look up, there's a set of ears bobbing at me. Coyote. Cody, you got him? Oh, he's leaving. Nice. Nice. Nice shot. Nice job. We just made a hell of a running shot on a coyote right there, right, brother? Yes, sir. Give me some of that. All right. Nice. Let's go get him. Come on. Male or female? What's the bet? I'm going to bet it's a male. 
It's kind of a big coyote. I think you might be right. Last three I killed here have been all males. Female! <laughs> <laughs> Look at how furred up they are. You boys are in for a winter, man. Awesome. We're getting it done. It's 90 freaking degrees. It's hot. The fat guy's sweating. <laughs> Stacy's got me down here in the desert. And I love it. Fur takers right here. We're glad you're along. We changed country again, and we, we came uh, came down to an area that I'm very familiar with, very intimate with, and I've hunted it since early, early 80s, mid 80s. We set up within about a half a mile of this uh, shipping pen, and, and we started to call. And I did lightning jack for about eight, 10 minutes. Played a little Pup Distress 3 and look what showed up. Oh, right here to the right. Here's one coming out. <whistles> Got him? Hammer time. Hammer time. Nice job, Stace. Let's go get him. Uh, this nice little male came in. Uh, 14 minutes, he kind of came late. They've all been coming real early. And uh, here we are 14 minutes in and uh, this guy shows up. Fur takers here in Southern New Mexico, we're glad you're along. Uh, tune in every week, you can only see us right here on the Outdoor Channel and, and we're glad you're along. Guys, right here in the bottom, there's a coyote right in the bottom. Slowing down right there, let's shoot him. Right there. We're down here in New Mexico, hunting in the yuccas and the flatland. We didn't plan on 90 degree weather, but the coyotes are still cooperating, coming to the call. It's our third morning. Stacy's got us on some property I'm kind of familiar with. It's kind of fun. We're in New Mexico, and we're gonna see if we can call a coyote in right here, right now. I'm gonna go right over here. Why don't you go right here, and I'll go right there. It's okay. Good luck. Yeah. We were set up uh, in a small cut, and again, you know, we, we pick and choose avenues, you know, uh, between food sources and, and where they bed down. We were calling some more thick mesquite. That coyote poked right around that mesquite. Hey guys, coyote. Coyote right out in front. He's coming around that bush. You see him yet? I'm gonna take him right there. Oh, nice. Booyah, brother. Hey, nice stance, Stacy Morris. Nice shot. Just for the record, I did not even move my gun onto that pad. <laughs> I knew you'd smoke him, so. Nice job, brother. Let's go get him. Let's go. And I'll bet it's a little female. What'd yep. you say? Little female. When you put that US optics on there, I mean, it's just when you put that black crosshair on this coyote, he hit that coyote almost dead center. We're in a very heavily hunted area and I'm running lightning jack and we're killing coyotes. You don't got to rethink the wheel. Mm -mm. There is no better caller than this shockwave right here. Come out here, play lightning jack. You're going to kill fur, aren't you? Every time. Fur takers, we'll see you on the next stand. We just driving down the road and this old buzzworm's right in the middle of it. And there's something, I don't know what it is about being homo sapien, being a man. I could have grabbed him, picked him up, but I don't know what to do with him once I pick him up. So we're gonna go down the road and see if we can call a coyote. It's 80 something degrees. Southern New Mexico, watch out for the buzzworms. We set up in this this little opening and we start playing and, and uh, Lightning Jack is just just going to town. And sure enough, this coyote starts sneaking in. I'm gonna shoot him right there, you got him? That's oh, oh he's up, he's up. He's down, right there. Nice. Nice, nice shot out. 
That is awesome. Look at this coyote right here. Got him male. Just look at the hair on him. Oh yeah, no, I'm telling you, you guys are in for a heck of a winter. We're glad you're along. Fur takers here in October, putting fur on the ground. It doesn't get any finer than this. We got one, we got time for one more stand. Let's go do it, Steve. Let's go. We're down here in Southern New Mexico hunting with the Morris boys. Just a week ago, it snowed down here. Um, now we got 90 degree temperatures, but we've managed to call in quite a few coyotes. It's been a really fun trip. It's our last morning here in New Mexico, me and Stacy Morris. We've had an awesome trip. And we're gonna keep trying one more morning right here. Dwayne's dropping us off. We're gonna go make a stand. Let's do it. Come on along, fur takers right here in New Mexico. Started to call in, in uh, two minutes, three minutes in the stand, a, a big old dart coyote came from the right. Here comes one right there, right there to the right. You see him? See him? He's coming right there, right there. He winded us, he's winded us, he's going away. You got him? Nice. <laughs> okay, who got him? We don't know whose bullet got there first. Uh, either way, we made a great running shot on that coyote. Oh, oh, oh. Sentinel, barricade, 243, 223, shooting that horn of the ammo. What else does the guy need? We got picking up coyotes in 90 degrees. It's kind of hard on a fat guy, but oh well. You think that's a yoy? Yeah, probably is. Mm-hmm. End of the year, beautiful dog. Fur takers, right here. Catch you on the next stand. Lightning jack it is. There's a coyote just to the right of the cow. Oh yeah. Robin, Robin, tap that mesquite. You see him? Had a coyote poke out next to the cow. Uh, Cody couldn't see it real well because of one mesquite, but then it moves over to the next cow. Now put on the bull squeaks and immediately she took a hard right turn and, and come right to us. Here he comes. He's coming right in. Mm -hmm. Just let him come. Here we go, boys. Oh, he's going to the right of this bush. You got him? Nice. Straight down. Boom. Oh, that's a good dog. Yeah, big dog. Female. She doesn't have that fine belly hair like uh -uh. that. Hunting with Al is second to none. He'll keep you on your toes, that's for sure. And, uh, and if you ain't on that trigger, it's going to die first. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to thank the Morrises for the hospitality they extended to the fur taker crew while we were down here. Um, this calling in southern New Mexico is some fine calling, and uh, we've just had a great time. You want to kill coyotes? Get you a Fox Pro, turn it on, get out there and get her done, and, and uh, you'll have some fun. Fur taker crew, thanks you for watching. We'll see you next week. We'll be somewhere having fun. <laughs>